killed by a criminal like why will he not develop an envy for those kind of criminal minded people and second is that this character develops like he he from being a murdering vigilante grows on to become a man who believes in humanity who believes in making a team by the end of the movie so this is a character development of batman as well and in this way the characterization of batman is done completely right there is another very important flaw that people say about batman vs superman is that it is completely humorless it is completely dull in a manner and i will say that why not like i will say why the fuck not like like why do you want everyone to be the same like why can't you have some diversity like like why do you want everyone to be like tony stark and to be like deadpool like why can't these two superheroes can be dead serious like they like batman has suffered with a tragedy since his childhood and he has nightmares he has constant visions and dreams about his mother and about various things and why can't he just be serious in his life like and the same thing is with superman like he is doing something very responsible and he considers himself to be in a crisis right now so this is very very wrong that people want to see everyone with the same color and these kind of people accuse the batman and superman fans or the dc fans that they they don't like diversity or something but in fact these people don't like diversity those who say that batman and superman is dry and dull and humorless like it is not about dry and dull like it why can't something be serious like the whole the dark knight trilogy was completely dark another point i will raise about why the characterization of superman is then completely accurate is that the 911 the whole 911 incident made men of steel more believable like like the movie became more grounded like if that incident did not happen like if superman is there something of that scale should happen to show his full powers to the whole world and that makes the whole man of steel premise more believable but yes i will i will certainly say that man of steel had a very good moments till the lawn cgi fight did not start the lawn destruction in metropolis did not start but ultimately even that thing made more superman more rounded and more believable now we come to another most important point that makes batman vs superman one of the most awesome movies ever and that is that things actually are making sense in this movie if we see it just narrowly like if we are just watching it as a superhero movie then we might not find all those small details but if we really think about it deeply then we can really consider that actually things are making sense for example this whole thing that superman is a god some people think of superman as a god and some people don't think him like a god or some people say that he is a threat it is completely accurate like in today's modern context when everything is polarized when when things like climate change like there are hundreds of people who say that climate change is not real and at the same like something even like the earth is not spherical even this thing is subject to argument in today's world so this makes complete sense that that someone like so that the moment someone like superman will come people will argue about him people will people will debate about him day in and day out and people will form strong opinions some people will say that yes he is a god some people will say that no he is a, he is a threat to the whole world to the whole to everyone on the planet like he can destroy each and every one of us and this is not some very big logic which is very hard to understand and this could be understand only by some professors of philosophy or something like this like it is just a simple thing and this is what batman also saw like bruce wayne saw his wayne building collapse in metropolis he saw his colleagues die like he saw his workers or his employees die in that whole carnage and it was completely natural for him to develop an envy for superman and at the same time superman 
has Superman helped hundreds of people and he must be helping hundreds of people throughout because why not like he is a really a good person like we saw him in his childhood when the bus drones in the river that when his school bus drones in the river he is helping the, his schoolmates to get out so superman might be helping millions of people at the same time but there might be some people who might not be getting his help and they might be thinking that yeah he is he is not there for us so he cannot be our god and some people might be considering him as a really an act of god or something so it's completely that's completely natural that that in today's world like even like the worst of the people have got followers in today's world and in today's political today's complex environment like if the worst of the people have got followers then the best of the human beings will have critics like someone someone who has been so good like like someone like john mccain hundreds of people who have done nothing but good for humanity they will also have people who will they will also be criticized on several moral grounds like like even people like elon musk are criticized for hundreds of reasons that he is too immature or something like that so critics always find one or two other flaws of people and they they try to raise it so a man like superman the moment he will come he will become a polarized subject and this is what this movie literally showed and there is like he was so accurate like zack snyder was so accurate in this depiction that i don't have any words to explain this like he was really really good in like like that's what i feel the worst like that he tried to create such a good movie he tried to create such good characters he tried to create such good narrative and people just completely trash it like like they like they just say that no our superhero cannot be that our superhero cannot be this for example like like rich evans from red letter media he said that Th this movie has never ever established the character of superman like captain america in captain america the first avenger we see that that steve rogers stands up again and again and this establishes the character of steve rogers that he does not he does not give up and he does not fear bullies or he does not fear someone who is stronger than him and this is so wrong this is so pathetic that Zack Snyder has done the same thing about Superman as well. Zack Snyder had the same childhood shot in Man of Steel when, when some kids are bullying Clark Kent when he's reading the Republic by Plato, and he does not he does not harm them. And his father says that what he did was completely right and this is the greatest establishment of superman that he is virtually a god he does not have to fight back he has to really show mercy and this is the goodness of superman like he is not like captain america who is weak and then he will become strong no he is already too strong like if he wants to he can beat down each and every one of them in just a second within a fraction of a second he can he can beat all those kids but he does not do it because that's what Zack Snyder showed that he is a god and he teaches us about mercy and he ignores those people who criticize him he ignores those people who hate him and this is the best this is the best superman that can ever be like like i literally love this superman like this superman is too real this superman is too grounded this superman is too 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 good like this superman is the best superman
and Zed Snyder really deserves a lot of praise for this. Like, like I really, I really wish that people someday say that yes, he was completely correct on his point. Like, for example. So, you understand it or not, that Superman is a god and he has to, and his main character is to show mercy, like his main character is to really say that yes, like I, is to really ignore those who are trying to harm him and that's why when he sees Lex Luthor out there and and when Les Luther says that I, when he sees Les Luther out there who tries to kill Louis Lane, and he says to Les that I can kill you, I can I can bring you in a million pieces or something like this, and but I'm not going to do it, and that is actually appropriate because he is a human, and at the same time he is a god, so his human part is saying that I can break you in a million pieces, and. But the God inside him knows that he cannot do it because he has to become an ideal, like he has to show people a path. And there can be nothing more accurate than this about Superman. Like this was the most accurate portrayal of Superman. Like if if someone else was there, if if there was this Christopher Reeve Superman, he would have said that no, let it be, let's I won't be doing something like that. No man, he saw his girlfriend about to die, like if he was not there, his girlfriend would have died. So why will he say that, hey Lois, what you do, hey Let's, what you did was completely right. No, he will, he deserves to get angry on Let's and when he says that, that yes, I, I can break all your bones and I can break, I can put you into a million pieces, but I will not do it because, because I'm Superman and he is so much in that dilemma right now like he has suffered a lot like this this scene comes by the end of the movie and he has suffered so much like people are accusing him of hundreds of things some people are saying that he has killed people he was he was involved in the scene at bombing and all i don't really like people are so pathetic people are so lazy to understand this simple things like this this is so simple like this we like you don't need to read any big comic book to understand this idea that Zed Snyder wanted to make some very 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 real superheroes and he was completely successful in doing this with both of them with Batman and with Superman as well and and people who like Wonder Woman a lot like Zed Snyder contributed a lot to Wonder Woman as well so like like people who like Wonder Woman and they don't like Batman with Superman, they should really understand it that that is also a part of Zack Snyder's vision as well. So as I said that Batman will consider him as an enemy. Now we should come to Let's Luther. So Let's Luther was having this. So so another big point about this movie which is raised by a lot of people is that Lex Luthor's motives were completely unclear and they were not shown anywhere at all. And at the same time, like, I, and as I already said that, yes, Lex Luthor's plan was not clear, but his motives were quite direct. Like, in the very first move, first scene when Lex Luthor is there, he shows to Senator that he is trying then when he when he shows to a senator the, that Kryptonian stone that he wants to bring from Indian Ocean he says that that he his father used to that his father used to live in East Germany under a dictator so and he has completely and at the same time in the second scene when he meets the senator he says that he says something it was not that clear it was not it was put very very subtly it was it was quite subtle but it, but it is not that difficult to understand when superman meets let's luther on the top of that building from where he threw us where from where he threw 